special seminar going on this Friday at Brookland Baptist Church. It's all about financial freedom. Here to tell us more about it is Mr. Marcus Benjamin. He's a financial consultant who will be speaking at the event this coming Friday. Obviously, it's geared for financial freedom, but what is the whole mass of, of what you all are trying to teach people that come out? Well, really, we're trying to get people to see that even though right now it is a tough economic time, inspiration is important because people need to be motivated. They need to know that there is hope for their financial position. They need to know that all is not lost, even though it may seem that way when they listen to various things. So we want them to see that their financial life is just a part of their life. And we want to get that part uh, straightened out, taken care of, motivated and inspired. But we also want to help them see their financial your life in the context of the bigger picture of their entire life versus just looking at that one piece of the pie. Now, obviously, people are always talking about their finances. Give us some guiding light, things that will help you change that so that you Obviously, you're keeping your finances in order, but at the same time, living a fruitful life that you want to live. Well, the first thing is economic freedom comes at a price. You know, there, there have been about 18 generations that have happened in our country since the founding of it. But really, only about two or three of those generations, the last two or three, have really seen economic success in terms of opportunities, in terms of creating wealth, growing wealth, etc. So what we have to do is be willing to pay a price temporarily in order to see the kind of economic success that we really desire to see. It's not going to happen overnight. And that's where a lot of the challenges have happened in America is because we've tried to get too much too quick. When the boom was in, everybody was yeah. in the boom. But when the bus happened, everybody was like, oh, what happened? We have to have a plan, a systematic plan that we apply regardless of the conditions that we're in. There must be some financial unchangeables. And what we're going to provide are financial unchangeables. Now, here's, here's a, a testy time. Obviously, we're talking about we're right next to the Christmas season. Yes. How do you convince people that buy what's important and obviously still enjoy the holiday season? Well, part of it is you, we're not going to be able to convince people just to buy what's needed or buy what's important. What we have to do is help people learn how to do, do what I call reward buying. Basically, you set a goal, a certain financial objective, certain financial outcome, and then you reward yourself and you reward your children for accomplishing those goals. So yes, on Christmas you can buy some of those things, but let's connect some type of, some type of goal being accomplished to us receiving those things. That way, at least... If we're going to buy something, we can look at a certain tangible thing. I've done this. Yep. I've signed up for this class. I've done something, and I'm rewarding myself for doing something significant. Well, make sure you head out there this coming Friday at 7 o'clock at the Brooklyn Banquet and Convention Center. It's absolutely free to get in, but remember, the point of the message, financial freedom is not free. Thanks a lot, Mr. Benjamin, for coming in. I appreciate it. We'll be it. back here with more of your top headlines after the break.